Hey there, this is Ed Herzog, and today what I want to do is I want to show you the just released Elementor theme styles. This was actually released last week, but there were some issues and they had to pull it back and now they've re-released it. So I'm going to take you through a quick tutorial to show you how to use this brand new Elementor feature, a feature that's available in both Pro as well as the free version. So let me switch to my desktop and I'll take you through a quick tutorial. Now the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to disable the default styles in your theme. So what you want to do is you want to come here to Elementor, go to Settings, and you're going to, going to want to click on both of these here, Disable Default, default Colors and Disable Default Fonts, and then Save Changes. And then that way uh, this new theme style option in Elementor will work. So come over here and I've got just a basic template from the Elementor template library here loaded into this page. And what you do to set your styles now is you come here and you go to theme style. Wait for that to load up. So you've got options for background, typography, buttons, form fields, and images. And so, you know, if you go to typography, for example, you obviously have options for body, uh, for link, for H1, H2, H3, etc. And you can set these however you want. And then that way, wherever in your site you're using, for example, body, uh, body text, it will pick up what you have here unless you override it within the widget itself. So you're not stuck with, you know, if there is a specific place where you want a different, you know, body font, for example, you're not stuck with what you put in here. This is just a default that will be used if you don't edit the individual widget. And so then, you know, you've got similar things, obviously, for buttons, form fields, and images where you can set defaults to make you know, to make the appearance of your website consistent throughout. Um, so let's just look here at typography and show you how that works. So right here, this one here and this one here are both body fonts. So let's just say, uh, click on that. I want to make it bigger. Boom. It changed both of them right there because now this is, you know, now I've decided the default font for body that I want throughout is 22 and so it just changes it there it'll change it not just here on this page but it should change it throughout your website um, now the other thing I want to show you here work real quick is again let's go to buttons and let's go to background color I'm gonna pick a new background color and what happened I've got buttons here and I've got a button here and nothing happened the reason why is because there was a different color individually set within the widget so what you would need to do is you would need to turn that off in the widget and then this, uh, this reddish color here that I just picked will get picked up uh, by the theme style. So let me just show you that real quick. Close theme style. I, was just, I should have saved that, sorry. Um, bring this back out. So let's just come here, edit this button. Come here to style. And you can see here you've got this, you know, the yellow there is chosen. Let's clear that. And then let's go back to the theme style. Go to buttons. Go to background color. And now you see that changed. But it didn't change down here because, again, this one is still set individually within the widget. But this one, as you saw, I turned off so this will now change as the default styles you know whatever I put it as a default this will now get picked up on that one there so that's it that's basically how theme styles work if you have any questions or comments about this please let me know I'm always willing to help you out the best that I can um, please subscribe to my channel I've got a lot more videos coming out on Elementor as well as other tools that will help you build and grow your online business uh, and hit that notification bell as well that way you'll know when I release a new video and as always, if you like this video, give me that thumbs up. That gives me some feedback, helps me uh, know that I'm producing content that is of value to you. So, oops, <laughs> that is it. I uh, hope you have a great day. Bye.